All right, what is up ninjas? In this video, we're gonna be going over what the heck is Amazon FBA? Can you actually still make money with it in 2019? Because a lot of people have been talking, you know, things have changed with Amazon FBA. Is it saturated? Is it a scam? Or is it possible to actually start from scratch as a beginner? I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you guys as I always am about everything that you need to know and all the mistakes that I made that, you know, I'm sure have costed me millions of dollars over the years so that you aren't doomed to repeat those same mistakes. To start things off, Amazon FBA is not the same thing as drop shipping, right? Amazon FBA is private labeling, which essentially means taking your logo, slapping it on a product, and now it is a private label product, right? A perfect example is shoes, right? Most of us wear shoes, but Nike put the little Nike swoosh onto a shoe, essentially private labeling that shoe, and now they can charge, you know, $100, $200 for that shoe when, you know, just a generic shoe from like a Chinese factory, you could probably buy for $3, right? That's the power of branding. That is the power of private labeling. With drop shipping, right, you're essentially buying one unit at a time and connecting buyers and sellers. So with drop shipping, literally what you're doing is you make a, you know, a Shopify store or whatever you're gonna do, um, you list a product, and then when a person buys your product from a Facebook ad or whatever traffic source, right, literally the Chinese manufacturer is shipping one unit straight to the customer. With Amazon FBA, right, we're pre-purchasing, you know, 500 units, a thousand units, whatever the case may be, and we're shipping all 500 units directly to an Amazon FBA warehouse. And then as people buy that product, your product one at a time or two at a time or however many that they purchase, right? Amazon is then shipping those products out from Amazon's warehouse directly to those people. So with Amazon FBA, you, you take 500, you ship them all to Amazon and then Amazon distributes them one by one um, to anybody who buys your product off of amazon.com. So Amazon and drop shipping are not the same thing. So don't get them confused. So step one of Amazon FBA is finding a profitable product to sell. What makes a profitable product, right? So that's a good question. What makes a profitable product is a product that has more demand than it has supply because Amazon has millions of products, but it doesn't have every product. And so your job is figuring out what products have more demand than they have supply. And then you enter into that market and then you create, you know, a better version of that product with better photos, right? And you want to make sure that any product niche that you actually enter, any product that you decide to sell, you want to make sure that the, the current products that exist on amazon.com don't have a huge amount of reviews. Think about it logically for yourself. If there's two products on Amazon, one has 20,000 reviews and one has, you know, 20 reviews, which one are you going to purchase, right? The one that has an overwhelming amount of social proof, right? And so what you want to make sure that you don't do is try to compete with products that have a ridiculous amount of reviews. It's the number one most important mistake that I see beginners make. And so if you're asking yourself, okay, Kevin, but how do I actually find these products? Well, we do have a detailed tutorial on that right here, but the simple answer is I use a product called Viral Launch product discovery and market intelligence. And there will be links down below to heavily discounted versions of product discovery and market intelligence, which again are two pieces of software that make actually searching through all the millions of products on Amazon so much simpler. And last but not least, when it comes to actually finding a product to sell on Amazon, you want to make sure that Amazon is actually going to allow you to sell that product. And one of the most devastating mistakes that I see beginners make all the time with Amazon FBA is that you go out, you find a product, it looks great, right? All of the numbers look good, the, the reviews are low, the revenue's high, right? There's not that much supply, there's a ton of demand, but Amazon then doesn't allow you to actually sell that product. There are certain products that Amazon doesn't allow uh, new sellers to sell. For example, lockpick sets, right? Lockpick sets, Amazon doesn't allow you to actually sell. And so, you know, a big mistake that people make is that they go out, they do all this research, they find these products, they ship them from, you know, China to the USA, and then they try to sell them and Amazon shuts down their listing, right? So there are a couple of cool ways to make sure that you're allowed to sell something. You can message Amazon seller support, right? And ask them if the product that you're looking at is gated or if new sellers can actually sell it. And then you can also just try to create a listing for that particular product. And Amazon, if they allow you to sell it, will allow you to create that listing. If they don't, you'll get, you know, a hazmat warning or you'll get warnings um, about that, you know, that, that particular product or product category is gated. So I do both of those things every time that I am actually about to start selling a brand new product. So step number two is once you found that profitable product, the next thing that you're going to want to do is actually find a supplier or a manufacturer that can create that product for you and then ship it all the way from China directly to an Amazon FBA fulfillment center. Because one of the best parts about Amazon FBA, 
fulfillment by Amazon is that you don't ever have to actually touch or see any of the products. You can ship them directly from China, to Amazon, a big warehouse Amazon has all over the USA, right? You ship them to an Amazon FBA fulfillment center, um, and then Amazon ships out all of your products for you. It does what it's what's called pick and pack. So it'll actually take your products individually and send them, you know, in those Amazon boxes that we've probably all received to all of the people who buy your products on amazon.com. Finding a supplier on Alibaba is very easy. You literally just go to alibaba.com. It has every supplier that you could ever possibly need, and then you search for whatever product that you're trying to get made. It's very simple, they show you reviews, right? It's not overly complicated at all. And then you just open conversations with these suppliers until you find the one that you feel has the best quality, the most legitimate business operation, right? They have an online presence, they're responding to you quickly with all of your answer, all of your questions and things like that. And they have you know, the best looking quality for the best price. Then the next step of what you're gonna do is you're gonna pay your deposit, right? Most of the time you pay 30% down for them to start creating, you know, 500 units for you or a thousand units for you. And one of the biggest mistakes that I see beginners make all the time is that they don't actually inspect the quality of the products that they order. You have to get what's called an inspection, right? An inspection basically means that a third party company comes in and makes sure that the that all the products that you ordered are actually the highest quality, right? That they didn't give you a bunch of, you know, not well put together products. Maybe they sent you one good one and then they made a bunch of lower quality ones. You want to get what's called an inspection to come in and make sure that all of the products that they actually finished for you are all high quality. Because if you don't, then down the line, you're going to get negative reviews on Amazon and Amazon could shut your account down for you know lack of quality or inconsistency. So you want to make sure that you save yourself a lot of future pain by making sure that all of the products that you actually ordered and paid for um, are, are actually of the highest quality. And the best way to do that is to get an inspection and you actually have to get that inspection to pass saying that all those products are are of the highest quality before you pay that final 70% um, kind of final payment um, before that they actually release the products to be shipped to the USA. So, so to summarize, you pay 30% down, the factory starts producing your 500 units. Um, once those are done, you get an inspection company to come in, make sure all 500 units are of the highest quality. And if they say, yep, they are, then you actually pay the final 70% and then the factory ships your products from the factory in China directly to an Amazon FBA warehouse to be able to be shipped out and sold on amazon.com so that you can sit back and not do any of the hard work yourself. So step three is actually setting up your Amazon FBA product listing. And a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when doing this too, right? They think that you should just put up whatever you want about your Amazon listing, right? Maybe you think that you know, you'd know make a cool title, but what you should really do is look at what's working, right? Look at what the people who are organically ranking highest for your main keyword. If you're selling a garlic press, maybe your main keyword is garlic press or stainless steel garlic press or large uh, garlic press or whatever the case may be. You wanna think about what your highest converting keyword probably is, look at what's working and then emulate that. And the best keyword research tool on the market without a single doubt is called zonkeywords.com, Z-O-N keywords.com. We will have a discount, a heavily discounted link for you down in the description as well. And what you can do with that is you can see the actual most profitable keywords that other companies are using and then you can use those same keywords right in your title in your back end when you're making your product description and your bullets and all of that right so you want to use those keywords because Amazon's just like Google it's a big search engine right so you want to give Amazon as many high quality keywords as you can so that Amazon's search engine algorithm ranks your product the highest to be seen by the most people step four is you want to launch your product and what I mean by launch is when you first start and create your product listing, right? It's not ranked anywhere because no one's bought your product yet. And so what you have to do is you have to basically tell Amazon's algorithm that ranks millions of products that your product deserves to be high in the search results so that more organic customers will see your product when they actually search for it on Amazon. So how you do that is using what's called a launch service, right? So the best launch service in the world is pageonify.com, right? P-A-G-E-O-N-E 
I F Y page one, if I.com launches have completely changed, right? A lot of the stuff that used to work no longer works. And the companies that are making it work correctly are the ones who are doing a couple of things. They're giving you PPC campaigns, right? High quality, fully optimized PPC campaigns that you're running in tandem with a launch. Cause how Amazon ranks products in the simplest sense, right? There's a lot of factors, but in the simplest sense, how they do it is they say, okay, this is a brand new product, right? So how would we get it to be ranked over a product that's ranking number one on the first page of results? So if you type into the Amazon search bar, garlic press, right? What's gonna happen is it's gonna show you 20 garlic presses that are organically ranking for that term. So so how do you actually outrank those products that are on the first page of those search results? Right? So what happens is the number one product maybe sells 10 units per day. So to actually get your product to jump ahead of that one, you have to sell 11 units per day and you have to do that over a period of seven or eight days. And so page one of what they do is they go out and they find you 11 buyers per day per, for seven or eight days. Right? And then your product is going to actually leap over the first product that's ranking for the word garlic press. And that is how you sustain serious rank and get a ton of sales, right? But a few things need to happen. You need to have a few reviews, right? Because nobody likes to buy a product without reviews. And the best way to do that is the Amazon early reviewer program. I think it's $60 last time I checked for five reviews. So you want to make sure that you do that right when your product actually gets launched and you, you create it and your product gets in stock, right? You want to start the Amazon Amazon early reviewer program, you know, immediately. And then once you have a couple of reviews, you hit up page one and you have them launch for you. And then you're going to watch your product magically start to rank um, above all of these other people. And then once you have a few reviews, once you have some good pictures, right, then your product is going to naturally stay in that position, right? Which, which is when you really start to make some serious money on Amazon. Cause think about it logically for yourself. If you see a good quality product with good quality pictures and a few reviews, uh, five star reviews on page one, you're never gonna scroll to page two, right? The difference between being successful on Amazon and failing on Amazon is being on the first page of those search results. So don't underestimate this. This is probably the single biggest mistake that I see beginners make is not understanding the importance of being on page one for your search results. And so the rest of being successful on Amazon really comes down to marketing, right? PPC um, and you know Facebook ads and things that we aren't gonna have time for today, but I do wanna go over one more very important thing. Can I sell on Amazon FBA if I live in another country? Well, Amazon actually answers this for us by Google searching countries accepted for seller registration. So you can literally look at what countries are allowed to sell on Amazon FBA and which ones are. And most of the time it comes down to actually having a bank account in certain countries. So maybe you have a friend or family member who lives in the USA, right? You can utilize them too. So the point is guys, don't ever let yourself find an excuse not to get started. As an entrepreneur, you have to get started because if you don't don't get started, you'll never actually be successful. And so we only really had time to go through, you know, very quickly kind of an introduction to Amazon FBA. If you want to learn more, a much more detailed tutorial about how to be successful with Amazon FBA, how to actually really start generating a substantial amount of income on Amazon FBA, what we're going to do is we're going to host a completely free training this week um, where we're going to be breaking down step by step what you need to do to be successful with Amazon FBA. So click the link right here down in the description if you are interested in joining our free training or if you want to learn um, from another YouTube video, then check out our 2019 Amazon FBA step-by-step -step tutorial where we break things down a little bit more in depth um, at this video right here. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. So this is the most valuable information that you could possibly get to run PPC campaigns, make your title and populate your listing because it's real words that people are actually